Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. So today I have decided to repot a few plants, so I thought I would repot them with you guys. Um, one of the plants that I'm going to repot I just bought probably a couple of weeks ago. But I have not had good luck with this plant in the past. So I kind of wanted to check out the roots and check it really thoroughly for like mealybugs and spider mites and stuff like that. Um, and then another plant that I wanted to repot is my blue cactus. So I'm going to have to get some gloves for that. But let's start off by repotting um, this Adamsonii. So this plant I did buy at Lowe's. It was um, $24.98 and it came in this cute little pot with a... Um, a little like wooden um, stand to go on it and a lot of you were asking on my video because I just did a my plant haul video and a lot of you were asking if it came in the pot or if it came in a growers pot and it did come in the growers pot inside the decorative pot or the cash po um, and it does not have a drainage hole and um, I mean, I could very easily drill one, but um, I kind of wanted to just put it in a pot with a that has a hole already. And I don't want to put it in a pot that is um, bigger than what it's already in. Um, I'm thinking maybe this is like a six inch pot. So I was thinking of putting it in this green pot because it looks kind of cute in there. But I also think I want to put it in the white pot because I do like it how it looks in white. So there's white. So I'm thinking I'll go with the white pot. So this pot my husband bought me for Christmas. Um, it's one of the Ray Dunn um, Christmas collection pots so it does say home. But you can very easily um, turn it around if you don't want, you know, the home. Um, but I think I'm going to put it in this one. So first let me, so this one, this pot does come with a tray on the bottom and it does not come off. It's attached, um, but it does have a drainage hole if you guys can see that. So I'm going to check out these roots and I'm going to check it really good for mealybugs. I did not see any in the store and believe me, I checked very well. Um, in the store, I was checking every single leaf. Um, I was checking the stems. I was checking everything because, like I said, I did buy um, two Adansonii's from Lowe's, and both of them had mealybugs. One of the plants didn't make it, and one of them is barely surviving. So I don't see any bugs, any kind of pest at all on this plant. So let's go ahead and check out the root. Okay, so the roots look very good. And it is kind of root bound. It has a lot of roots compared to soil. But I just bought this plant, so I don't want to disturb it too much. But I definitely want to get it in a new um, pot. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in this white pot. So if you guys follow me on um, Instagram, or if you are subscribed to my channel, um, I did put up a really cool picture. We went house hunting and there was a house with an atrium in it. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram or you're not subscribed to my channel, and put the a couple of the pictures here. I just thought it was a super cool house. And even though I really wanted the house for the atrium, it didn't meet my um, school needs um, for my kids, so unfortunately we had to pass on that house. But it was really cool, and it was really cool to see an atrium in a house. So let's see. I'm going to start with, I'm just going to put um, not too much in the bottom. And I just made this soil um, 
and it is just my standard soil so there I put some there on the bottom and then I'm just going to kind of um, kind of get some of the soil off the roots just because I, like I said I really don't want to mess with it too much because I j did just purchase it but um, I will go ahead and get a, a little bit of soil off the roots and then we will put it in this cute white pot and I have to make sure to put the plant facing how I want because like I said, I'm probably gonna put the home to the back most of the time. So I think it looks cute like that. Okay, and I think it has perfect soil. Okay, so now I'm just gonna fill it in here. Fingers crossed you guys that this plant lives um, I just really don't have good luck with these Adansoni eyes, and they're so cool. They're such beautiful plants, but, and I really didn't want to get it this time just because I've had such bad luck with them, but it was such a cool plant, so, um, I just, I couldn't pass it up. And I'm going to do my best. Um, I have it, as soon as I bought it. Um, I did put it near my grow light, and it seems to be really loving it. Um, it's grown a few new leaves, and it seems to be doing okay. So, um, I've had it two weeks, and so far, so good. Um, like I said on one of my videos, I can't remember which video it was, but um, I'm going to start um, doing a series on my channel where I... I'm going to, um, okay, that scared me. I thought, I thought I saw a mealy bug, but it's not. It's just a shadow. Um, so on my channel, I'm going to start repotting two plants a month. And then I am going to, um, the following month, I'm going to, um, update you guys on the plants that I repotted. So probably, um, Next week, I will show you guys my two plants that I repotted last month in December, right? No, January. We're already in February. Um, and the two plants that I repotted were um, the Euphorbia. So those are actually two plants. It's, it's one plant, but I separated it into two. So I'll update you guys on those. And then also, I will update you on my Begonia that um, is in my bathroom. And um, if you guys missed that video, I will go ahead and link it above. But I will also insert a picture here um, of the before. And then also I will insert a picture of the after. Um, just so you guys can kind of get um, an idea of, you know, how it looked before, how it looked after. And then I'm going to show you guys how it's looking now and how it's doing. Um, so stay tuned for that video. It will be coming up next week. Um, I did a, um, I also did a kind of like a plant adventure video. Um, I really didn't find too many good plants. I don't want to spoil it too much. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put the video up kind of a bust, but I think you guys, um, might enjoy it. So I probably, if I do put that video up, it will go up on Wednesday or Thursday of this week. So stay tuned for that one as well. But now I'm going to repot this, um, the blue cactus. So like I said before, I do have two blue cactus, but when I saw this, I just could not pass this one up either. Um, I love these. I think they're so beautiful. Thing to add to your collection. And it's kind of a pop of color. Um, you know, there's all green plants and then you have this pop of blue. And so it's, um, it's just nice to have. So this one I'm definitely going to repot in a terracotta just because I have most of my cacti, I think all of my cacti in um, terracotta. And so I'm going to put the blue cacti in this terracotta, but let me go grab my gloves um, because this one does have really sharp spines and I know that I'm gonna get poked a million times. So I will be right back. These gloves, I bought them at, I think, Lowe's, um, and they do have, like, a leather on this side, and they do have, like, some leather tips, 
Um, I can't remember if I got these at Lowe's or on Amazon. I'll have to look, and if I got them on Amazon, I will leave the link down below. But um, these seem to help when I'm repotting my cacti, so um, I'm glad that I have these. I didn't think they would help as much as they do. I'm going to put these gloves on, and then we will repot this blue cacti. I've been wanting to repot it for a while just because it's sitting over in my um, cactus corner in a black pot so it's really not um, matching all my other plants. So let me just start by putting soil in the bottom of the pot here. And I'm just going to put a little bit. I don't need too much um, for this cacti. So I don't want it to sit up too high in the, in the pot. So let me see if I can get this out without making a mess. Okay. So let's check out the root system on this cacti. Oops. Okay, it looks pretty good. So once again, I don't want to mess with it too much. I'm just going to kind of clean off some of the um, soil up here. I'm pretty happy with this um, plant. It looks really good. So I'm just going to put it down in here. I think I put too much soil. Okay, so I'm just going to put the cacti down here in the pot. Let's see if it fits. It's still sitting too high up. You guys can see that. I don't, I think I might have to get a different pot. Let me go see what I have. And um, I'll see if I have a maybe a deeper pot than this. If not, I'm just gonna have to remove some more of the soil, but I'll be right back. This one is um, like one of the traditional plant um, pots and it is a little bit taller than this one. So I'm just going to put some soil in this planter here, in this pot, and we will just, I'll just put it in this taller um, pot because it needs something taller. still doesn't look right. I'm wondering if I should put it in, because that doesn't look right. It's still sitting too high up. Um, let me check if I have another pot. Okay, you guys, this is the last one that I think that I have that will work. So this one is a little bit bigger. It is about a nine inch pot. And this one I think is like, um, maybe a six inch pot. So let's try this one. I'm sure this one will work. So let me just get some soil in the bottom of this pot. And my husband always questions me why I need so many pots. Um, this is why, because when you get into repotting a plant and you're not sure um, what pot is going to work with the plant, um, and you have extra pots, that's exactly why you need multiple pots, right? Right. Okay, so there we go, perfect. So this one is sitting um, lower in the pot, and I'm just gonna try to break up the soil around here to kind of fill in the pot, and then I will fill it in with fresh soil, but I think it looks so much better um, like this. Okay, and let me just make sure that it is centered. Okay, perfect, so much better. Okay, so glad that I bought extra pots when we went to um, Pasadena because I was kind of feeling bad for buying so many pots, but now I don't feel bad at all because I will always use them and you can always, you know, you never know what, what pot you are going to need for um, your plants. So this one fit perfect. 
I'm glad that I have it. And I think it looks great in here and I'm sure it will be happy in here. And it's terracotta so it matches with um, my other cacti. And I think it looks great. Okay, so what do you guys think? Much better and it fits better in this nine inch pot. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, you guys, so these are my two repotted plants. Um, I think they look good in these new pots. So my blue um, cactus and then my Adansonii. And um, like I said, I will keep you guys updated on how these plants are doing. So um, in March, I will um, do a video and update you guys on these two plants. So stay tuned for the two plants that I repotted last month. Um, I will update you and show you how they are doing on an uh, upcoming video. And also stay tuned because I'm going to put the plant adventure video up. Even though um, it wasn't the best um, day for plant, we'll still put that video up um, just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But um, if you guys like repotting videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I just want to thank everybody so much for watching. And until next time, guys, bye.